For this title, Anthony Zeno out in front, 5.4 million. Corey Hockman with 4.1 million. Mark <laughs> Bailey with 3 million. The blinds are 30 and 60,000. Here we go. Action on Anthony Zeno. He's got an A7. Well, you're certainly going to raise in a three handed poker game on the button with this hand. Anthony doing just that makes it 130,000 to go. Into the eye doctor, Corey. He folds a 10 deuce. And now Mark Bailey with a pretty good ace 10. Raise to 325. There you go. Mark and he's going to three bet it. 325,000 to go now. Mark Bailey, the portfolio manager from Buffalo, New York. Non professional player. Going to get aggressive against the ant. Well, Anthony's got chips. He's got position. Let's see what he's going to do with this A7. Anthony Zeno, a WPT champion, going after his second title on the World Poker Tour. He's going to make a good laydown. You know, you made a comment yesterday at the table that you were like the sixth worst. Nah, man, you're good. You're probably like third best. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm third or fourth. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm messing with you. No, you're playing really well. Playing really well, Ben. Corey giving a lot of respect there to Mark, and he should. Let's take a look at his hand, courtesy of the DraftKings whole cam. He looks down at a pair of queens. Oh, Vince, and look at him anguish there. Same bet, 175. Yeah, 175 is the bet. See if these guys picked up on that tail that... When the guy acts weak or sort of nonchalant, he usually he's strong. Yeah, Anthony already folding and Corey with a nothing hand. The weakest hand possible, a seven deuce off suit. But he's taking his time with it. Mark made the mistake yesterday during the final table. He said, oh, I'm no longer the seventh worst player at the table. Now I'm the sixth worst. He kind of gave away that he doesn't feel highly about his poker game. So if he makes a big raise, I'm gonna actually put him on a big hand. I don't think he's gonna make a move with deuce seven off suit. I might, but I don't think he will. This is so interesting. Never believe your assumptions. And he is making a move with a seven deuce fence. He's three betting it with what many consider the worst hand in Hold'em, the seven deuce off suit. Oh boy. Oh, I told you he looked like that actor, but now he's even acting like an actor. He is totally puts the head down like he's disgusted. You know he loves his hand. He knows how great of a place he's in with queens and a three-handed poker game at this point. I'm all in. And there he goes with the whining all yeah. in. Oh, oh I'm getting goosebumps. No. no Academy Award performance there, Vince. I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> Do you know what I even have here, man? Oh, my God. This is a tough decision. Oh, no, don't start. Not not you, too. Oh. Et tu, Brute? Uh, this is just all for show and glow. <laughs> Zero chance he's calling with this hand. I'm going to lay down a very big hand for you, man. Oh, no, stop. Stop. Oh, it is getting ugly out here at the poker table. <laughs> well, Mark's going to show him the queens. I don't think he had that beat. You know, right, you know what I laid down? Ace queen. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Oh, my lord. <laughs> I'm pretty lucky there. Yeah. I thought maybe I was getting under your chin Jeez. or something. No, you know? I, I knew when you shoved there, you're good. Well, folks, we know you can't trust used car salesmen, but now... You're not getting under my skin. You're playing really well. Maybe you can't trust ophthalmologists. Oh, boy. Poker's a great game. <laughs> we know what a nice guy is, though, but... He is. But that's why we play poker. You get to lie at the table. That's supposed to tell the truth. All right, back to this one. Action on Anthony Zeno. He's got a nothing hand, 6-3. Doesn't make a move. Now Corey, one of the best liars I've seen at a poker table in a long time with just Jack-5. We'll go 175. He's going to raise with this hand 175,000. see a flop, I call it's not often the non-professional players play more aggressive than the professional players, but that's what we're seeing here tonight at this final table. Anton Zeno Biden his time, not playing nearly as aggressive as Corey, for example. Flop comes up nine, seven, six. We'll play your game. Same bet, 175. <laughs> Inside straight draw for Corey, and he's going to make the continuation bet. Mark's got nothing, he's going to fold. What scares me, Vince, is if Corey wins this tournament, how many guys are we going to see in the little blue riding hood suits? Corey Hockman, his second time at a WPT final table, enjoying this moment. This time with just 10, five of diamonds. 
Corey says his only hobby is poker, his dream to win a WPT title. Got a shot at it here, that's for sure. Got a raise to 125. Tough. Mark and a call with Queen 9. Anthony Zeno got money in there already. He's got King 6, but nope, gonna lay it down. So 10 vibe versus Queen 9. Here it is. Well, Jack 3 deuce flop with two hearts. No help to anybody. Mark checks. Continuation bet of 150 by Corey. My doctor bets going to push another man out. Aggression is paying off for Corey Hockman tonight. In back-to-back -to -back pots, he raised before the flop. He bet on the flop. He won the pot with the worst hand both times. I'm wearing this blue hoodie again, and I keep saying I'm not superstitious, but I probably am. The reason I like it, I'll show you, is because when I'm at the table, I can put it on like this. And you can't really tell what I have. You can't get any tells on me because you can't see my eyes or my nose or my cheeks. You can't really see much of anything. My table presence in the past, I don't think anybody was afraid of me. But now, my table presence in this tournament, I think in general the players think I'm tough and I think that they're scared and I have chips to prove it and I'm going to prove it today. Sorry, it's cocky, but that's just the way I feel. Corey, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, my friend. It doesn't matter if you wear the blue hoodie. The number of hands that you raise with, nobody's going to be able to put you on a hand. Oh, this is great, great fun. Anthony's still the chip leader, but these guys also have chips. Action on professional liar Corey Hockman. He's got 7 6. He's going to raise it to 120. Good call. Mark Bailey with a quick call with a 6 5 suited connector, and Zeno. Also going to splash for the 9-6. Well, he's getting priced in the call, so we have three-way action here. On the flop is a king-9-8. Very interesting. Check. Mark with a good shot, straight draw checks. Anthony with the best hand with middle pair. Anthony going to bet the middle pair. And now Corey with the opening straight draw. Vince, he could do anything with this except fold. Mm-hmm. He's just going to call. Corey Mark calls. with just an inside straight draw. But it's the sucker inside straight draw, Vince. And by that, I mean if a seven comes up, he could make a straight, but somebody could have a ten jack where he'd lose all his chips. Well, reluctantly, he folds. That was Mark quite a fold. fold. <laughs> I was uncertain about that fold, could you tell? So two-handed action, let's take Oh, a, a five comes off. Corey has made the nuts the best hand possible. Anthony wisely checks. 350? Corey's going to bet 350,000 here with the best hand possible. He's just praying his man sticks around. Zeno, of course, with just nines at this point. One million. And he's going to go up. Oh, it's like a dream come true if you're sitting in Corey's seat. You got the best hand possible. Your opponent has check raised it to one million. Call. Oh. And just the okie dokie call. Sort of a whining call. Try to lasso your player into more money. Wow, river card. Queen of clubs. Corey can't like that card. Possible flush out there and a bigger possible straight. Anthony's going to check. Oh. Now Corey now goes all in, and Anthony goes all out. He took a shot, made his move, didn't work. Corey taking down the pot. And Vance with that pot, Corey Hockman has taken the chip lead. Three players battling at the Falls New Poker Class we have going here, three-handed poker. And for the first time tonight, we got a new chip leader at the final table. Corey Hockman is the man. He's got about six million in chips. Anthony Zeno in second place now with 3.7 million. Mark Bailey with about three million. Quick fold by Anthony Zeno, WPT champion, and now Corey Hockman, the eye guy, got a raise. Raised to 360. And then Mark Bailey over the top with Ace Jack, makes it 360. Raise. A four bet here with this junk hand, a Queen 8 offsuit to 780,000. And now what do you do if you're Mark? 
Ace Jack just doesn't look that good anymore. Hold on. Wow, what an incredible all in bet. All in. Wow. All right. He is fearless as well, and Corey has to lay down the hand. And that's, he's just aware that Corey's playing virtually every pot. So if you get Ace Jack, you just got to go with it against this guy. Damn. Corey just does not know where neutral is located on the gear shift. Now, if I can only hit, pick up a hand against you. Okay. Well done, Mark Bailey. When you have a, one as well. Buffalo Bailey taking down that pot. You will get paid, you can see that. Oh, I like it, Vince. Mark Bailey from Buffalo. Buffalo Bailey! Two non-professionals with extremely aggressive styles, especially Corey. This time it's on him. He's got ace three. He's going to raise to 120. Mark. I think I did it right You're this right <laughs> Calling. I've managed people's money for a living. <laughs> and now Anthony Zeno with the real ace. Ace queen. And that's the perfect time here to squeeze, but you're squeezing with a hand. We know Corey raised with virtually every hand on the button. And here it comes. 475,000 bet by Anthony Zeno. Uh, Corey goes out. Respect. Corey and Mark. They both go out. So Anthony Zeno taking that pot down with a nice raise there. His nickname is the Ant. He's a WPT champion. This is six WPT cash this season already. And with this performance here this week, he is now the leader in the Hublot WPT Player of the Year race, overtaking Darren Elias. He always wears a suit at the final table to look sharp. He thinks it sets a nice example as a gentleman's game. And Anthony Zeno does look pretty classy out there tonight and playing well. All right, quick fold by Mark. Well, Anthony, definitely one of the good guys in poker. 120. He's got ace 10. He's going to make it 120. Corey having position on me uh, presents the uh, most difficult scenario. Corey is playing for the trophy. The one's playing for the money, you put the pressure on them. The one's playing for the trophy, you want to play small ball against. That is an excellent analysis. Corey's call with just Jack Deuce, and here we go. Flop is a king, 7-7, seven, seven, but there's two spades out there. Corey with the four flush. Anthony not catching there, but he's going to check. Now, Corey, Corey checking the flush draw. I'm a little surprised by that. And now the third seven comes on the board. Anthony's going to bet for value here with the ace high, thinking it's the best hand, which it is. Mere 100,000. You just know your opponent would have bet two pair if he'd had it on the flop of king 7-7. Seven, seven. That didn't happen. Anthony trying to get a value bet in here. And Corey with a four flush. That dream is disappearing quickly as three of the kinds out there, but he's going to float around here a little bit. Makes the call. River card is just a three of hearts. Well, now Anthony's making a bet here, which I don't know why. 150. I think your opponent's going to call you with queen high or jack high. That's all you can beat to get paid off with. And he could allow himself to get raised out of the pot, and that might happen here. As you see, Corey reaching for raisin chips. Is he going to get frisky? Yes, he is. He's going to raise it. Oh, boy. Goes to 380. Well, this is exactly why you don't bet here with Ace High. Because now you're in a pickle as to what to do. You're supposed to check and let your opponent bluff. And then call him with the Ace High. And Anthony has to lay it down. Corey Hockman. Gonna take this down with a steal. Well, well done by Corey, but you just wonder if Anthony played that one right on the river. The same birthday. You and Tony. Yes, sir, that's right. Well, sir. happy birthday whenever it is. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Three-headed poker continues here. You guys getting tired yet? I'm ready for that. Stop thinking so much. Just act. Don't even think about it. Yeah, Action right. Buffalo Bailey. This time he's gonna quickly fold. Anthony Zeno, though, with a pretty solid ace ten of diamonds. Will make the raise. Call. Hawkman will splash around with his 10 7. And he's in position. He's got two cards. He makes the call. And the flop comes up King King 7. Oh, nice flop there for Corey. He's taking the lead. Anthony's checked. No continuation bet. Now Hawkman also going to check the 7s, huh? Very puzzling that he would check that end. And now an ace has come off where he's beat. He gave his opponent the free card. 
and he got outdrawn. Anthony's going to check the aces up. Corey, he's going to check behind him. River card, a jack of hearts. Well, Anthony now reaching for betting chips. A beg me, call me bet. Ah. Let's see if Corey figures it out. Let's see if the eye doctor can see through this one. <laughs> this would be a curiosity call if he should make it. Now, all it can be is a bluff. Oh, Vince. Okay. That's when you just reach out and just slap your hand when you make those kind of calls. Say, what was I thinking? Yeah, curiosity killing the cat right there. That is Corey Hockman. Zeno comes to take down this pot. My World Poker Tour win was, was really huge for me because I knew that I was good enough to, to do this for a living. I had been playing professionally for years. You have many ups and downs, and then you start to think to yourself, was this the right choice for me to pursue? Going into the final table with Vanessa was uh, both exciting and intimidating. As the underdog, uh, it's kind of like, you know, I got nothing to lose. Cool. Fortunately, the dice rolled in my favor. Once you win that trophy and you defeat one of the best players in the game, it's pretty much solidified that you, you know, can continue doing this for as long as you enjoy it. He did beat one of the best players in the world in Vanessa Selps, and I do believe it gave him a lot of confidence to move forward in his career. <laughs> I guess I should have known to lay that down. Oh, well. What, pre-flop? No, 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 I was good. I was good, man. But, um... Jack? Yeah, I just should have known to lay it down to the bed on the river. Oh, well. Small mistake. Anthony Zeno. One of those. No, no more, though. He folds his hand. No more mistakes. Into... King of Bluffs himself, Corey Hockman. He's got the 9-4 offsuit. Is it a mistake to play this? Well, we're going to find out because he's definitely playing it. 125,000 to bet. Mark raised to 375. 375. Oh, I know what that means. Mark raises to 375,000. We've been through that before. And Corey Hockman has to quickly eject that hand. You like big ball. I like small ball. Since when? Me small ball, you big ball. Yeah, exactly. But me big balls. I got news for you. Corey just likes to ball, period, on the green felt. He likes to play any two cards for any size pot. Very successful with that style. He just never can put him on a hand. And that's impressive for a non-professional eye doctor. I think lines are getting real. It's his second WPT final table this season, so not too bad. The blinds are going up to 48, 80,000 with a $10,000 ante. Action's on Buffalo Bailey. He's got King-10. Most players are going to raise on the button with this hand. 175. And he's doing it, 175. Into the man that called the ant, Anthony Zeno. He's got a pair of threes. Re-raise. And Corey with a decent ace-10, but raise and a re-raise. He's going to fold it back on Buffalo Bailey. Yes, sir. That's exactly what you want to have happen when you have a small pair. Just raise your opponents right out of the pot. I was very close to going over the top. Yeah. Anthony Zeno from Buffalo, New York, with about 3.4. <laughs> Three Americans left fighting it out for this title. All right, action's going to be on Anthony Zeno. Got the queen jack of diamonds, certainly going to raise on the button with that hand in a three-handed poker game. He does so. 160,000. Into Corey Hockman. Oh, Ooh, he's got a pair of aces. 355. Corey just raises so many pots. He never has a hand most of the time. This time he's got the bullets. He's made it 355 to go with the aces. Mark going out and, of course, back on Anthony with an attractive queen jack of diamonds. And he's going to look at a flop. He hits just a piece of it, he could get in trouble. He hits none of it, though. Nine, four, deuce, flop. Corey looking around. Ho, hum, tweedly dee. What do I do with my two little aces? <laughs> <laughs> oh, to bet or not to bet. Anthony's studying him closely here. And a little $485,000 bet. 
into the ant, and he is wise enough to crawl away. And there's Jeanette Mendez, Corey's girlfriend, the eye doctor, everything working for him tonight. So we continue at the Falls View Poker Classic. Action going to Mark Bailey from Buffalo. First time ever playing a WPT event. This time he's got a suited connector, 8-7 of hearts. 175. Gonna make it 175 to go. 75,000. Anthony goes out, and the madman Corey Hockman. <laughs> Corey and I spoke a little bit. He's, uh, I guess he's a doctor in his, his real life. Um, I, I told him he's, he's not very gentle for a doctor, you know. And so, um, so uh, maybe a proctologist. No, cut, edit that, and take two. Um, <laughs> oh, Buffalo Bailey, that's a comedic name, I guess. Don't be starting to spread rumors here. Uh, okay, well, Corey, gonna splash with a nine, six of diamonds. What else is new? And here's the flop. Flump comes Jack six deuce. Corey now out Jack in front six. with middle pair. Check. He's gonna check. Corey checks. Mark Bailey catching none of that will make the continuation bet of a half a million. Boldly bet. Now back on Corey. Come on. And he's gonna go all in. Wow, what a play by Corey with middle pair here. And you see the anguish. Nice hand. Bye bye, Mark. Mark pulls and Corey takes it. Ouch. What an all-in bet by Corey. Vince, the guy is just not afraid to play. Can we show those guys? You'll see him on TV. Let's just say I was hoping you'd call. Yeah, I figured that. <laughs> Thought it was good. Wish list, your bucket list. Come to Falls, you hood Niagara Falls. You will thoroughly enjoy the trip. Back to three-handed poker here at the Falls View Poker Classic. Corey Hockman. The eye doctor this time with an A7 of spades. Hey, bro. And he is going to put in a raise. Mark Bailey is going to throw away that junk. And now Anthony Zeno with a pretty good queen jack of diamonds. So it costs him another 80000 to make the call. And he's Anthony doing it. So we have a seven versus queen jack, and the flop is a nine nine ace. Anthony, Anthony has a four flush. They both check though. Corey going to play it slow. Now spade comes off, so Corey now has a flush draw to go with his two aces. And Anthony is going to bet two hundred and fifty thousand. Corey got a pretty strong hand, four flush, and aces up. Oh. He just calls. A little okie dokie call here. And we're going down to the river, and it's another nine. So nine's full of aces for Hawkman. And Zeno wisely checks. 365. Uh, 365,000 to bet. Anthony quickly throws his hand away. Corey increases his chip lead. Well, Corey Hockman, the eye doctor, he is taking the scalpel out and he is slicing these guys up. Well, Vince, I saw him before this final table started. He told me he thought this was going to be his night. He thought he could win tonight. I like his confidence and he is doing it right now. Let's see if he can cross the finish line with the cash and the title. And this time with Jack 10, he's not going to slow down. Makes it 160 to go. Mark Bailey behind him. Raised. 375. He's had good success. Three betting, Corey. He's trying it right here. 375,000. Anthony's got the real hand behind him with a pair of tens. Right. And he's going to go all in. Anthony in the big blind. Moves all in. Corey going out. Problem is, if this is a bad laydown, I'm going to have to see it Along with everybody else. Nice hand. Respect. Well, Mark's talking himself out of it. He does the right thing, goes out. Anthony Zeno taking the pot. Yeah, he was a chemical engineer, went to law school in Boston, says he uses math and analytical thinking when he plays poker, and he thought it out right, right there, moving all in to win it. I had a good hand, too. Yeah. 
I think yours was better than mine. I don't know. Uh, that's what I thought when I made the bet. I kind of forgot about the guy in the middle who's the yeah. best player so far this season. <laughs> Just want you to chirp a little bit there, would you please? Remind me you're over there. Chirp, chirp. Yeah, okay. I like Mark's style. He always butters up the other guys, trying to pretend like he's this horrible player, and he just does so well. I mean, he ingratiates himself to these guys making mistakes. <laughs> Gotta love it. Yeah, Corey Hockman doing well now, 6.9 million. Still the big chip leader. Okay, into Mark Bailey. First time ever playing a WPT event. He has been impressive. 195. With his mixed up style, and this time with a pair of fives, we'll make it 195 <laughs> to go. Into the ant. Quickly folds an ace high. Corey calls. 15, Murray. Yeah, 15. Corey going to speculate with his 9 7. Just likes to play pots and figure out where he is and then muscle. It's a 5 ace 3. Three of a kind there for Mark Bailey. Dream flop for Mark. Corey hits none of that. He checks. 225. And Mark Bailey's going to bet 225. Mark is hoping that Corey's got an ace in his hand. No, he doesn't have anything, but look at this. Now he is floating here, calling with no hand, no draw, which means he's going to make some kind of play at this pot before it's over. Three on the turn. That's fives full for Mark Bailey. Corey's checking. 375. 375 the bet. Corey, you might better rethink your plan. Whatever play he makes, Vince, he'll be burning up chips. He's drawing completely dead right now. No card he can catch to win this pot. Oh, no. Saying so. He's going to raise. He floated, and now he's going to take a shot at the pot. He makes it 750 to go. Mark is, puts his face down. He's giving us a Meryl Streep right now. You pull it in, please. Pull it in my bag. Let me see how much is in the pot. I've got a marginal decision to make. Oh, boy. Guy's got fives full. I'll call. Oh, the whining call. I like that play, but surely if you're in Corey's seat, you have to wake up and realize the guy has a hand. He's not calling on a draw here. He must have a hand. Down to the river. It is a deuce Comes up the two call. Corey call goes through with the call. bluff, but he gets picked okay. off like an acorn on a tree. Mark wins Thank the you. full house. Mark Bailey has doubled up. Bad timing <laughs> for Corey Hockman there. Sometimes blood gets on the bluffer's hand. Good hand. Thanks, man. I guess my timing was off to make a play on you. Oh well. Mark Buffalo Bailey looking good right there. No guess, no glory. And with Mark Bailey's double up, we come to the end. Going third with 3.7 million. First place is going to take home close to 400,000 Canadian cash. The Andes are 10,000. <laughs> Blinds are 40 and 80. Let's see what happens between these three. Action on Anthony Zeno. Anthony from Cranston, Rhode Island, looking for his second WPT title here. They call him the Ant. He's got King Queen. And he's going to raise it to 200000 Now Corey Hockman, the madman. Anthony's probably the only guy I've really gotten to know at the table. I know he's won an event before, so he's an amazing player. I'm to his left, so I think he's scared of me. When I raise him, he's going to have to be worried. Well, he's right about that. Corey has made moves on him, and this time he's got queen, jack, and diamonds, and he's going to re-raise to 575. Mark goes out. Back to Anthony. And we can see he's got him dominated. He's in position. But what you fear is that you're dominated. Well, your opponent's got ace, king, or ace, queen. And he mucks the hand. So a nice three bet there turns out by Corey Hockman to take down that pot. There's Jeanette Mendez, Corey's girlfriend. Got to be proud of the eye doctor. A non-professional poker player who can really play with the best of them. His second time at a World Poker Tour final table. 9-10 of diamonds for Mark Bailey. Mark is a businessman from Buffalo, portfolio manager. 175. Makes it 175 to go, but the ant has picked up ace-jack. Anthony Zeno, who majored in chemical engineering, then went to law school in Boston. Makes it 600 total. Corey out. Mark with those suited connectors you like to see flops with, but do you want to put another 425,000 in? Answer no. And showing some power there is going to take this one down. One 
player. Already has a WPT title under his belt. Tonight he's trying to go for two. This tournament has proven to have big implications in this season's Ublo Player of the Year race. Two-time WPT champion Darren Elias added to his point total with an 11th place finish here at Fallsview. But this final table marks Anthony Zeno's sixth cash of the season and he is now guaranteed to take the top spot on the leaderboard. We'll keep you updated on all the moves in the standings, but now let's get back to the action at the Fallsview Poker Classic. Well, a great Player of the Year race, no doubt about it. Action on Anthony Zeno. And he looks down at a pair of kings. Yeah, because he's picked up pocket kings, DraftKings will put $1,000 into his DraftKings account. He has raised to 160 into <laughs> I, Dr. Corey, who has an ace five of clubs. Well, he's going to three bet it here, Vince. And a big three bet. Looks like 480,000 with the ace five. Buffalo Bailey getting out of their way. Back on the ant. It's the two fisted million bet. Those are 500,000 a stack there. All in. Corey's gone all in and a quick call, of course, by Zeno. Good Evan. Well, Vince Corey's played so aggressive at this final table all night long. It's worked well for him most of the time. Well, whatever happens, you know, it's all good. He got carried away a little bit ago against Mark when he doubled him up. And now he's got Anthony Zeno all in with a good shot to double up, unless he hits an ace, probably. And the flop is a 10 9 7. The king's out in front for Zeno. Pair the board. What's your name? Nick? Tom? Fair the board. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see Ryan Renner for a straight to the five or something stupid like that. Corey Hawkman, who had a big yeah, chip lead, done. now in dire straits That's with two cards to come in this hand. Here comes fourth street. It's a jack of diamonds. No help for Corey. His girlfriend, Jeanette, just can't look. We are going down to the river. And Corey make it happen. No, it's a seven of diamonds. Well, that's going to do it. Anthony Zeno is going to double up here and regain the chip lead. And Vance Corey Hockman took a nice size chip lead. He bluffed his money off in one spot, cold his money off in another. You just wonder, could he be playing a little bit too loose in this three-handed battle? The eye doctor seeing double vision at this point. Things have turned around. And as you can see, the ant is now the chip leader with close to eight million. And shortstop Corey Hockman, what a turn of events. Down to 1.3. Now action's on Corey. He's got a decent King 10. He's got to be tilting like a three legged bar stool at this point. Take it easy, Corey. And Zeno's saying, just take it easy. Will Corey listen? Mullen. Oh, no. He's not going to listen. He's going to push all in. Well, he's going to force him to pick up a hand here anyway. Bailey out. Oh. And a snap call by Anthony Zeno with ace queen. Of course he's going to call. So now Corey hanging in there by dental floss as Jeanette watches from the sidelines. Oh. Good luck, bro. Handshakes to the ophthalmologist. And he's going to need help to stay alive. About a three to two underdog as the cards lie. Let's flop it. Ace right on the flop. Corey catches a king, but Anthony out in front with the aces. So is a jack on a turn. Corey must catch a king or a 10 or two runners to make a straight. Otherwise, he's going to be finished in third place. Here comes the turn card. It's an eight of hearts. Didn't help Corey. He puts his head down. He's got to be stunned at this moment. Oh, Vince. Looks like the ophthalmologist is going to have to see his way to the rail if he doesn't get help here on the river. Jeanette can't look. Oh, boy. She's been through the ringer tonight. Great playing all night long by Corey, but did he overstep his boundaries and misplay? Jack on the river. It's not going to happen for Corey. <laughs> Corey Hockman played great events. He went for the win. And we are now down to heads up. Corey Hockman out tonight in third place. That's right, by the Ike doctor. Back to the hospital, he'll go 171,000 richer. He's over to talk to Matt Savage. <laughs> Corey, just minutes ago you were the chip leader, and now you're out in third. How disappointing is this for you? 
You know, honestly, not really. I played, I played with heart. I played my best game. And I know I'll be back in another final table soon. Obviously, you know, this isn't your profession, but you're turning it into a great passion. I mean, can you give me comments on that? Yeah, I just love this game. The World Poker Tour, I live for that. And I just come to as many events as I can. I love playing here. And I mean, it's a chance to, to beat the best there is in the game, really. Well, we appreciate having you here and another great job by you. Thank you, I appreciate Lynn, it. Lynn, it's over to you. With Corey Hockman at- Dino. With just under a three to one chip lead, he's got nine million in chips to 3.5 million for Mark Bailey. Action on the ant. Anthony Zeno. 160. Makes it 160 to go. Mark Bailey, portfolio manager, playing good tonight. With the 7.5 of diamonds, he makes the call. See the flop, and it's a jack, 7-6. Well, Mark flops second pair and checks. Anthony with top pair of jacks, also checking. Going okay. to the turn. Three of spades. Mark has two sevens and a straight draw now. Thinks two sevens are the best hand, the way this hand's been played. 175, Anthony Zeno. Top pair, big kicker. He's going to make a raise. 425,000 the bet now. Call. And without even thinking they could be getting trapped here, Mark makes a snap call. The five hits on the river, making him two pair. He had to hit a 7-5 or a 4 to have the best hand. He did it. He had a 5, and now he's bet 250,000. A very small bet into a pot that's got about 1.2 million in it. So I think Anthony's getting off light here on the river. I don't see him folding two jacks here. Just out of curiosity, you want to see what the guy's got. Oh. He has paid it off. And he is going to see he got beat on the river here. Is that straight? He's got two, two pairs. Pair. Two pairs, you know, concedes. Hmm. Mark Bailey from Buffalo. This is Susie McGowan, Mark's girlfriend. It's really quiet in here. You guys are making me nervous. <laughs> Get some drinks going or something. We, can, we got money for a tab. Mark is correct. You can afford it. Come on, girls. Splurge it up. All right, it's on, Mark. Blinds are going up to 50 and 100 with a $15,000 ante. Raised to 200. Great. And Mark, with just a five deuce, is going to make it 200 to go. Well, Anthony Zeno is going to three bet 600,000. Enough to get the job done. As Mark goes out, and looking happy, he's doing pretty good. I am wearing a suit. I wore it in my first final table at the Borgata. I like to try to promote poker as a gentleman's game, a game of intellect, a game of logic, a game of patience and discipline, a classy game. If you ask someone on the street, what do you think of a poker player? They're going to say they're good at bluffing, they're hustlers, they wear hoodies, but it's more of a mathematical intelligence-based game. Most people don't know that. It's a really beautiful game. I want to see people, I guess, have a greater respect for the game in general. And you got to like his style. Yeah, Anthony Zeno, a great ambassador <laughs> for poker. Could be an even better one if he becomes a two-time WPT champ tonight, <laughs> like he's favored to do right now. <laughs> Especially when you pick up eights, he'll make a raise. 200 total. Buffalo Bailey with an A7. Raise. 575. Ace high is a big hand playing heads up, so Mark's gonna three bet here. Back on the chip leader. All in. He's gone all in. Oh boy, the head drops to the table. Yep, he didn't like to hear that, that's for sure. It's his tournament life fence. If he makes this call and loses this pot, he's out, so. That's him. Mark does lay it down. The ant crawling all over these guys. It's 3.4 million, just about exactly where they were when the heads-up battle started. <laughs> Let's go back down to it. Action going to Mark Bailey. First time ever playing a WPT event. He is so impressive tonight. This time he has a 10-7 offsuit. He doesn't just wilt away, he is going to call it. Zeno with just a six deuce doesn't raise. And the flop comes up king, four queen, two diamonds. 
Now Anthony with a flush draw is going to lead out and bet here. 100,000. Mark not hitting any of that. Here's the three and a quarter. Oh boy, he's going to take a shot here. Several times at this final table, he has raised with no hand and no draw. The problem is the ant has a four flush, and he will make this call and hope to hit a diamond. We're going to the turn. Well, the board pairs kings. Anthony's going to check. Will Mark continue the charade? 575. Oh, you got to love the spirit. He's going to bet again with zip and pip. And the board's paired. You can't draw to a little flush in that spot. Anthony gives it up. Well done by Mark there, just outplaying his opponent. At least he thought he was with that hand. There is Corey Hockman, the eye doctor. He has not seen enough tonight. He's back here watching. Very classy. Yeah, guy finished third in this tournament. He's come back to watch the heads up battle. Most guys just steam straight to the bar when they get knocked out. Blinds are up to 60, 120 with a $20,000 ante. Mzino with a six of clubs is just going to call. Mark's got nothing hand, 10 3. Let's see the flop. An ace comes on the flop. Sure. Mark is going to check. Anthony checks right behind him. Just camouflage those aces. Now a three comes off. And that gives Mark a piece of it, a pair of threes. 325. And he will bet 325. Can't blame him for betting here. His opponent didn't raise before the flop, didn't bet on the flop. You made a pair here in the turn. You're going to bet. Ant's in a good place, and he's just going to call. Take a look at the river card. It's a queen of clubs. What do you do with bottom pair now? 575. Wow. Call. Call by Anthony. He's going to win the pot with two aces. Good call. Anthony called. I got nothing. I got a three. Oh. Has three ten. Quiet ace. Nice hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. You got sneaky there? Yeah, where well, you're a little worried with that. Let me limp with that. It was very sneaky. Nice hand. Thank you. So Vince, by not raising before the flop and betting on the flop, turns out Anthony made an extra 900000 Anthony Zeno now with over $10 million. Mark Bailey back down to about 2.5 in the heads-up battle here at Fallsview. Right back at him. The ant looks down at an ace deuce. 260,000. Not going to play it slow this time. Makes a raise. 260 total. All right. Call. Mark is going to make the call with the king high. Yeah, yeah. And flop comes 8-5-3 with two clubs. I'll check. Action on Mark. He's going to check. check. And the ant has an inside straight draw, but he's going to slow down and check as well. And the jack of clubs comes off. Mark with the flush draw. 575. It's no good, of course. He's going to bet 575,000. Now, what do you do if you're Anthony? You got the key card, the ace of clubs, but. Paul in. Wow, that's what you do. Yeah. You just put him all in and see if he can stand the heat. And if he can stand it, then you try to outdraw him. Buffalo Bailey puts his head to the table. Does not like that. Well, Vince, there's just no way he can call here with this hand. He's saying, why did I donate so much? I knew one was a club. Anthony's thinking, I'll give you a club right now if you want one. Oh, oh Jesus. And he just doesn't have a hand he can play with there. No, he's got to lay it down. So the ant acquires more chips. Nice hand. Everybody loves it here, and why not? The view spectacular. Well, there you see the chip count. Anthony's in a well out in front now. Nearly 10.8 million to 1.8 million. WPT champion Anthony Zeno with a pretty strong king queen. All in. All in into Mark Bailey. Let's take a look at Mark's cards. Oh my. Call. Yep, he's picked up aces. Does the insta call, of course. Thanks. <laughs> Well, Vince, I don't blame Anthony for moving in there with King-Queen. You don't expect to get called, number one. If you do, you don't expect to ever be in this kind of shape where you're up against two aces. Buffalo Mark, Bailey, in a great place to double up. But let's see if anything crazy happens. There's a king on the flop. 
So Zeno hitting kings. And Jack coming, maybe? Jack would be cool. This may be Mark's first WPT event, but he recognizes he still got somewheres to go before he wins this pot. Now Jack comes off. Did I have to call it? Yeah. How did you know? Throw a ton down there now. King, queen, or a 10? Mark Bailey will learn it's never easy. <laughs> I got four kids and two ex-wives, man. It is never easy. <laughs> hey, here comes the river. Probably easier because they're ex-wives. Can Zeno close this out? Nope, seven of spades on the river. Buffalo Bailey's gonna take the pot with the aces, and he needed it. Back to where I started. Good call. <laughs> well, the portfolio manager certainly added to his portfolio on that end. But the Andes are going up now to 25,000. Plines are going to be 75, 150. Action on mark. Raised to 300. It's going to make it 300 total. <laughs> Zeno with just a 9-7 will make the call. And here we go. Check. Zeno checked in the dark, Vince. Flop is a 7-6-5. So the ant getting a piece of that sevens with a straight draw. 575. And Bailey's going to bet it with ace high and an inside straight draw. Yeah, a number of players would raise with Anthony's hand here. He is just called, though. Turn card on another six. Action on Anthony. He's going to check. Come on. In. Mark Bailey has gone all in with nothing. Ace high. If Anthony Zeno can make this call, there's a good chance he could become champion right here, right now. Just has to dodge an ace or a four. Mark is a great guy. He is a recreational player. Uh, he's so happy to be here. I'm very happy for him. I have position on him, and I expect that he won't be much of a threat. But, you know, the cards dictate a lot in this game. I'll keep my eye open for the uh, possibility that his chip stack could, could put a dent into mine. He says he's a recreational player. I don't buy that he's going to be pushing pots around with nothing. And look at this. He's wrong. Incorrect. Yes, Beautifully done by Buffalo Bailey. I said, get that all in shit the hell out of the way from me. And next, we've seen the guy make some moves here at this final table. It's my first WPT. To make the final six seems like a found, found money. And, uh, you know, with my winnings, I believe a lot in, in giving back. We have a Burning Man camp where it's all about giving back. I've gone three years in a row. We had a big camp. Um, last year, uh, Bloody Mess Oasis, where we served probably 1,200 Bloody Marys out on the playa, um, which takes some doing and a lot of ice runs, and a camp always needs subsidizing. So they will be big beneficiaries of, you know, my poker winnings this year. Ah, so we're going to a Bloody Mary party, huh, Vince? I like this guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Plies are up to 75150 $25,000 Annie. And Anthony Zeno's got a big pair, a pair of sixes. And he's going to bet 300000 Come. Mark with king, seven of hearts, making this call. Yep, he's going to look at a flop here. Here comes that flop. Yeah, Jack, Jack, deuce, Mike. Jack. Buffalo Bailey checks, and they both check. Now five comes off. Check. Again, Mark checks. Well, Anthony has to think the two sixes are good now. And he is going to bet 325000 Raise it to a million. What? Look at this, Vince. He is doing it again. Wow. A million bet. Let's see if Anthony can figure this one out. He got the last one wrong. Oh, no, he's on to it. All right, so far he's got this one right. He is making his call to the complete displeasure of Mark Bailey. Going to the river. Over 2.6 million in the pot right now. Nine comes off. Doesn't change a thing. Let's see what Bailey does. Come all in. He's going to go all in. Can't believe this. What guts? And if Anthony Zeno makes this call, he'll be our champion. Uh, he makes his call. It's the call of the year on the World Poker Tour to put this so-called recreational player 
on a bluff and to make this call be extraordinary. You have to be fearful that your opponent's got a minimum three jacks here, the way this hand was played. You're just not going to expect him to bluff in this spot for his tournament life. The ant's going to lay it down. So on back-to-back -back pots, Mark Bailey has earned the pots, winning them by betting with the Dino you know, had about a nine million chip lead. Now, if you notice, it's less than one million. So Mark Bailey's doing brilliant in terms of fighting back in this heads-up battle. And now the Annies are twenty-five thousand. Blinds are one and two hundred now. Zeno, he's got ten nine. And he's going to raise to a half a million mark with an A6 just calling. It's suited. Just surprised he wouldn't have three bet there, Vince. Here's the flop. Jack, A3. Check. No help to Mark. He checks. Open in straight draw to Anthony. He spent 250000 Not a big bet in terms of the size of the pot. Nothing hitting there for Mark. He's got ace high, but we've seen him do crazy things before with nothing hands. Sam. And he is going to lay it down, take a break. So Anthony saying to himself, finally, I want a pot. Just heads up, she is fun, huh? Mark Bailey with a very strong ace queen. Raised to 500. He's going to move it up to 500,000 to go. Zeno, he's got ace 10 of spades. Oh, gosh, Vance, a lot of players will just ship it right here over the top. He's just going to call the 500. Going to see a flop first before he gets his money out there. And flop comes Jack 10 7. Anthony out in front with two tens. He's going to check. Mark has the ace high straight throw, as you can see. 1.5. He's also got. A lot of chips going in the pot. 1.5 million. Oh, boy. The pillage continues. Well, Vince, there's only a million in the pot. Now, when a guy bets 1.5 million, automatically your antenna go up. Say, so why is this guy betting so much here? It's a mystery. If he had a big hand, he'd bet less. He'd want you in there. Wouldn't he? And it's going to play it safe and lay it down, though. Well, Vince, Mark Bailey has proven himself to be quite an adversary here in this heads-up battle. I think he's much stronger than most people expected, that's for sure. Well, he just has the perception of a recreational player, a nice guy that just gives compliments out, very humble, says everybody's better than him. I think he's uh, not exactly telling the truth. It's a charade, man. It is. It is. It's beautiful. He has made some plays that have just wowed us here tonight in terms of having no hand, no draw, raising, getting called, then betting and betting again. Anthony now with nines. Raised to 500,000. Mark with a pretty good King Jack. And raised to 1.5. Mark's going to throw in a big raise. Yeah, but it's not going to work, Vince. Two nines playing heads up is just a big hand. You're never getting away from him before the flop. All in. Oh, boy. He's gone all in. I don't think you can call on this spot and give your opponent a free flop. You ship it. Just like Anthony did there. And that is devastation for Mark. Just when everything's working so well. Well, it's interesting, Vince. If he knew what Anthony had here, if he turned his hand up, even though Anthony has the best <laughs> hand, he'd beat him in the pot because he's getting the right price to call. Anthony and I spoke uh, quite a bit. Real nice guy, um, consummate pro. Um, so it's great to play with people like that. I'm pretty sure Anthony bluffed me out of a, a strong hand earlier on uh, yesterday. So I try to avoid confrontations when I can with him. Well, Mark, I got news for you. You've outbluffed him more in this heads-up match than he ever outbluffed you. Oh, is he going to muck it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to throw it away. Doesn't want to, Vince. Strong re-raise by Zeno. Taking that pot down. Wasn't that good a hand? If Mark loses this tournament, Vince, he's going to look back at that hand and say, yeah, I should have gone for it. Is there a tilt light going on above me right now, flashing? <laughs> Let me know if there is, because everybody else will see it. Nice hand. Thanks. And Zeno with 7.8 million, Mark Bailey with 4.7 million. <laughs> so Mark Bailey coming back from where he started in this heads-up battle. Let's take a look at Mark's cards. He's got a jack eight this time. And he's going to limp in on the button, something we haven't seen by him yet. Anthony Zeno 
Content to see a flop, not gonna raise with Jack five. And here is the flop. Yeah, flop is ace, ace, king. No help to either player. Anthony's gonna check. And Bailey's not gonna slow down. He's gonna bet this. Try to take it home a half a million. Won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Bring those chips to me. <laughs> Zeno folds the hand. Bailey gonna take the pot. What a moment here at the Falls View Poker Classic. Boy, is it ever. A guy playing in his first ever WPT event against a guy going for a second WPT title, who's the WPT Player of the Year leader. Anthony Zeno just calling with Ace-5. And Mark Bailey not going to raise with King-6. And the flop is a 9-4 deuce. Check. Yeah, Mark has checked, and... Anthony's going to check his wheel draw. He's tired of getting check raised out of the pots. And now a six comes off. Mark now has the lead. Pair of sixes. 500. And he's going to bet a half a million. Mark bet 500,000. Zeno with an inside straight draw. Well, Zeno thinks his ace high is the best hand. He does have the gut shot straight draw. But he's calling 500,000 here. He's not buying that Mark's got anything. This feels like the guy stole a few pots, which he has. Now an eight comes off. Another 500,000 bet. Good lay down by Anthony. Buffalo Bailey taking down another. Mark Bailey now within a million chip count of Anthony Zeno after trading by 9 million at one point in this heads up battle. Yeah, the blinds are going up to 125, 250. $25,000 ante action on the ant. And now looking at a pair of kings. Well, in addition to having this monster hand right now, he's going to get an extra thousand put in his DraftKings account oh. for picking up pocket kings at the final table. And again, he's just going to call. Oh, wow. Mark Bailey with a strong ace jack, and it's suited. Please. I'll be surprised if it doesn't go all in before the flop here with these hands these guys have got. Bailey's made it 750 total. 750? All right. And Zeno is not going to raise. Wow. Just calls. Let's see if it pays off for Zeno. Here's the flop. Eight, four, deuce, two clubs, though. That's a four flush for Bailey. I'm all in. Call. And the insta call. Nice hand. Nice hand, but I can assure you, Anthony's shocked the guy's got this good a hand with this many outs. Oh, you have clubs. Mark comes in with an eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way we wanted to do it, huh? Uh, no, I wouldn't think if I were you. An ace or a club is what Mark needs. Uh, Here we go to the turn. It's a four diamonds. That ain't one of them. Diamonds. Did not help Buffalo right. Bailey. With one card to go, Anthony, a three to one favorite to wrap up his second WPT title. Got to dodge an ace or a club. Nine, nine of hearts. Ace of diamonds. Doesn't need to be the flush, just an ace is good. A lot of poker destiny coming down to this card. What's it going to be? It's a seven of spades! Anthony Zeno has done play, it! Man. Good game, bro. Yeah, you played well. Yeah, you played well. Yeah, Can't wait to find out some hands you Anthony had. Zeno, yeah, now you, a two-time WPT man. champion. Yeah, you, but Vince, you got to take your hat off to the